Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. We're coming to you again from Northwest Ontario. One of our favorite things to do is come out here at night and do a little bit of burbot fishing. Going for ling, going for burbot, going for eapout, whatever you want to call them. Guess what? They're here, they bite at night, and we are going to load up our lines with Potsky Firebrine Smelt. Drop them down to the bottom, see if we can get these night feeders to become active. Give us some action here in the twilight zone. We'll be back. How hard I gotta set this up? Yeah, she's good. Oh man. Oh ho! Yeah, give him some line if you need to. Oh, oh yeah. He's bubbling now, so he's coming up here. Oh! Oh, look at that! There Get him! Is. There what do I do? Get, him. Get in there! Grab that thing. I'm trying. <laughs> oh look, he's curling up the hole. <laughs> baby. Oh! Hey! Look at that thing. Dude, I ain't ever caught one this big. Holy crap. What do you do, you just grab him? No, I know why Landon let you reel that in. Why, it's a baby? Yeah. What do you mean it's a baby? <laughs> this thing's huge. Just coming from Schaefer, the Ling Expert. That is an awesome fish. So good. Holy crap. Can I kiss it? Oh! He's got great colors though. Dude, he's pretty. That is incredible. It's camel. Well, I guess he's got to take you fishing now. Well, <laughs> yep. Now, now I know why. You, you can come brown trout fishing. <laughs> you want to catch steelhead too? We'll, we'll put that on the trip. Yeah, it's it's on there. Yeah. You ready? Oh, oh yeah! Beaver with another. Oh my god. What's pulling line? That looks like a nice fish. Son. <clears throat> That's a good bird. You better be recording this, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go live for me, son? <laughs> so Kyle just caught his first Northern Ontario bourbon about a minute ago. And my line went off. My actual line, I said this. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what I was doing. And this looks like a nice fish. Was it on the bottom? Yeah. So it was 30, 30 feet down? Just about. Are you gaining on it at all? A little bit. <clears throat> on some oh, there's another, another one over here. Another one, double hookup. Oh, Kyle, oh, Kyle, oh. get this one. And then we'll go over there. Go ahead, Ooh, you're good. Line got bit. Yeah. Is it really? Just let him go or what? Yeah, I just opened up. <coughs> yeah. Alright, once you land this bad boy, you can go get that one. Oh, they're waking up. Tom, you have any idea how if it's close or not? What? It's coming. No. Tell me is it, is it close. We're not bubbling yet. I'll tell you when I see it. <coughs> there he is, right here. Nice one? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, buddy. yeah. Oh. <laughs> buddy. Oh, crap. Look how different the colors are on that one than the last one. It doesn't have that pattern like the last one did. Dude, that is awesome. Holy crap. And there's one of the other lines. <laughs> what do I do, just leave him sitting here? Yeah. Okay, we got another one on here. This guy here doesn't feel as big, but you know what, it's still gonna be a nice fish. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty far down there, but it doesn't feel too bad. I'll tell you, the fish are just, oh, Ooh. there he is. <laughs> That. Flopped right out of there. This one's got another crazy color yeah. pattern to him. Oh, jeez, these things are so slippery. What's that? Yeah, this guy's pretty pale. Yeah. yeah, he's a pretty little guy. Couldn't resist that chartreuse firebrine smelt, and he just inhaled it. That thing is down there. Yeah, so we're just gonna get him unhooked, and we'll throw him back like that. Wow. 
So for these bourbon, again, running these dead baits, these, most everything we're running them on, I'm running them on jigging rods. We're not jigging, everything's just set a set line. So these I've got in, uh, in some sort of rod balance um, or some of these kind of uh, jigging rod tip up setup. So uh, this one, like it's just a 32 inch kind of medium heavy jigging rod. Uh, this one's actually spooled with a 12 pound braid and then I got about a 12 inch mono leader on the end of it. So they're not necessarily very finicky fish. So I mean, you don't want to run heavy stuff, but they say this has got a, probably an eight pound uh, mono leader on this braid and these glow jigs and lay it on bottom and wait. Ooh! Well, Deaver's into another one here. <laughs> We just had three fish on at the same time. <laughs> He's got the hook set down. <laughs> this is mayhem. Landon, Landon lost one right here, landed one, and he just got this one all at the same time. It don't feel as big, but that's okay. He's still pulling, dude. So we're now 20 after 11. I was here catching ling at night. All these fish were getting on um, uh, Potsky's fire brine smelt and herring. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, it's look in that, its mouth. Look at that red one. Oh, come on up here, you. Oh. Uh oh. Look at it. It's in its mouth. Is so that there. pink? Is that that's pink a, or red? Uh, hard to tell. Pink. Uh, yeah, that's a pink one. Yeah. Pink fire brine smelt. Pink. Awesome. See his little, little ling. So we're out here in the northwestern Ontario lake. It's about one in the morning right now. We've been. Uh, catching ling all night long. So we're out targeting burbot at night. So we came out um, just after uh, sunset and it was a bit slow at first, but since about 10 o'clock the bite picked up, we've been catching ling ever since. So we had a lot of fun, caught a lot of fish. Everything we're, we're catching is on brine dead baits. So here we've got, um, these are number of smelts. So we're fishing with, with basically with smelt and herring. Um, all dead baits, we've been brine, brined in uh, Potsky's fire brine. So we got some red fire brine, blue, chartreuse, and orange. Um, and basically these baits, we've been using them all, catching fish on them all. How I typically rig these is taking a, like a little glow jig. These are these Northland glow jigs. I'll hook them behind the dorsal and then I get a little stinger and just tuck it in behind the head. That way they kind of hang nose down in the water. And these baits, we're rigging them, like they're sitting, like almost laying right on bottom or maybe an inch or two off bottom, but some of them are like the lines essentially slack touching bottom and these burbot are just swimming around we're out here in 25 to say 40 feet of water um kind of a just a flat out here and they're scooping them right off bottom so okay, so you've been having action all night long and it's uh it's been a lot of fun Closer now. Yeah. Close. Well, close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the biggest oh. one. Okay, just a little. We're on the edge here, so. Just. Yeah, there we go. There we yes! Go. <laughs> there we go, the biggest fish of the night so far. About 1 a.m. on a uh, fire brine smelt. What color was that, Tom? That one's Pink, a red one. red one? He just inhaled it. Good fight. It's been a fun night.